Before Java emerged as a programming language, C++ was the dominant player in the trade. The primary goal of the creators of Java was to create a language that could tackle most of the things that C++ offered while getting rid of some of the more tedious tasks that came with the earlier languages. With Java, they reached their goal. In that video, you are going to discover the history of Java on the feature side in just 7 minutes. On May 23, 1995, John Gage, the director of the science office of the Sun Microsystems along with Mark Andreessen, co-founder and executive vice president at Netscape announced to an audience of Sun World that Java technology wasn't a myth and that it was going to be incorporated into Netscape Navigator. The JDK was announced in beta version. In 1996, the JDK was introduced in version 1.0 with code name Oak for Solaris, Windows, Mac OS Classic and Linux. This included the Java runtime, virtual machine and class libraries, and the development tools, for example the Java compiler. Later, Sun also provided a runtime-only package called Java Runtime Environment, JRE. The JDK 1.1 was announced in 1997 with reflection, introspection only, remote method invocation, aka RMI, Java Beans, Inner Classes and JDBC the Java Database Connectivity API. Introduced in 1998 as a quick fix to the former versions, version 1.2 was the start of a new beginning for Java. The JDKs of version 1.2 and later versions are often called Java 2 as well. Major changes include, collections framework, just-in-time compiler, Java Foundation classes with Swing 1.0, drag and drop and the Java 2D library. Big step forward for Java. Java 1.3, codename Kestrel, was released in May 8, 2000 with enhancements in all Java area. It was also the adding of Java Sound or Java Naming and Directory Interface, aka JNDI, in core libraries. Besides, Hotspot JVM was included too. Released in February 6, 2002, Java 1.4 has improved programmer productivity by expanding language features and available APIs with XML processing. Java Web Start JDBC 3.0 API Chained Exception Regular Expressions Logging Non-blocking I.O. a.k.a. N.I.O. Another big step forward for Java and the developers. Java 1.5 also known as Java 5 Tiger was released in September 2004. Major changes include generics to provide compile time type safety for collection and so to eliminate the drudgery of casting. Auto boxing and unboxing. Enhanced for loop with collections use. Static imports. Annotation which enables tools to generate code and deployment descriptors from annotations in the source code. JVM improvements. Java SE6 was released in December 2006 with integrated web services. Scripting language support, Java compiler API, pluggable annotations or still JDBC 4.0 API. Note that pluggable annotations allow programmer to write annotation processor so that it can analyze your code semantically before Javac compiles. At long last, Java SE6 unifies the Java plugin technology and Java Web Start engines, which just makes sense. Installation of the Java Web Start application got a much needed makeover. Five years after Java 6, Java 7 Dolphin is released on July 28, 2011. What a long journey! Java 7 comes with some small language changes from the coin project. It include for example strings and switch, automatic resource management in try statement or the diamond syntax. NIO2 API comes also with Java 7. We can also note concurrency utilities under JSR 166. Java 8 Spider was released on March 2014 and included several features planned for Java 7 but deferred. Java 8 is real revolution with the adding of possibilities to make functional programming in Java. It comes under the JSR 335 and the Project Lambda.
It integrates Lambda expressions, streams but also default methods. The Date and Time API is also added based on the famous Joda Time API. We can also note the Nashorn project a JavaScript runtime which allows developers to embed JavaScript code within applications. Java SE 9 is released in September 2017 with the long-expected modularization of the JDK with the Jigsaw project and the Java platform module system. A Java shell is also added to the platform and an HTTP2 client is also available for developers. With Java SE 10 in March 2018 a new life cycle is adopted for Java releases. A new Java release will be published each six months now. So, each release will have smaller changes. Most important change in Java 10 for developers is the local variable type inference support added with the var keyword. Other changes concern mainly the platform itself. With the new Java lifecycle, Java 11 will come already in September 2018. For the moment, this new version will have Epsilon garbage collection and the removing of the Java EE and Corbel modules from the JDK. This quick video of Java's history on the feature side is finished. Now, it's your turn to give me your feedback. Which version of Java was the most important for you? To discover more Java content and tutorials, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S. Sorrels channel.